today we're doing a review of the Anza espresso machine. I've had this machine for a couple months now and I've used it quite a bit, so we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna run through all the parts of the machine first. If you guys can't tell, the brass is a little oxidized, but I do have some brass so that I've used and started cleaning it. So you guys can tell that this part is a little bit shinier and I actually clean this part. This part still needs to be cleaned because it's a little darker. So if you guys choose to get this model instead of the concrete model, this brass is definitely easy to clean off with just a bit of brasso. These three knobs are what you essentially need to control the machine. So this one is gonna be the hot water knob. So you would switch this to the right to turn it on. This one would turn on for steam. And this one you flip on to start pulling your espresso shot. In the back, you have the water reservoir. I'm not too sure if you can actually detach this. I haven't figured that out yet. It would make sense if you actually could, so it's easier to clean. We're gonna go ahead and fill this up with water right now. And of course, for any machine I use, I always use filtered water. So we're gonna just pour this in. So in the front of the machine, you have this dial to turn on your steamer. All you gotta do is turn it to the left to turn it on and then you'll turn it to the right to turn it off. The pressure meter is right below. You have your steam one that you can pull out and then you have your drip tray. I'm gonna show you guys what happens if I just turn this on. So water comes out. So it's purging the water if you just turn it on a little bit and it's floating out to the side, which this it's one thing that I don't quite like about this machine is this tray just isn't meant to catch the water all inwards. It's floating out from the side. So if I do it again, I'll show you guys. See, it's just, it's floating onto the side. So this is with an empty pitcher. It is super strong. It is really strong. So that's pretty much it for this machine. I really do like how it looks and it will pull your espresso shot in the morning just fine. I will say, if you're trying to do something like a home cafe like I do, probably not the best machine to go considering it's gonna take a while to rest between every single shot that it pulls. And it's gonna do that weird thing where if you try to pull a shot too early again, the machine will just turn off. Something else I would also love to find out is how to take this water tank out because I really would love to just take it out just so that cleaning it could be a lot easier. So this machine currently sits at $1,365 on the Anza site and on Essence. If you do care about the aesthetics of your machine blending in with your kitchen or your home a lot, these could be the way to go. If you don't care about that at all, and if you are a beginner, I do suggest going a more beginner-friendly espresso machine. But hopefully this helped. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a review of what I think of this machine. So leave any questions in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.